Foundry, Memory, Nano, EUV. These are the terms we can easily see in articles about semiconductors. Over the next two episodes, we are going to learn some keywords from the semiconductor world. Let's start with Semiconductor Glossary, Part 1. To understand terms used in the semiconductor industry, we first need to understand the semiconductor ecosystem. An ecosystem means a connected environment where creatures live together. The semiconductor ecosystem means an environment where companies in the semiconductor industry collaborate while working for their own best interests. The first step of semiconductor manufacturing is design. Wafers, which are produced based on the designs, are cut into hundreds of individual chips. The next process is packaging, where chips are attached on substrates or electronic devices. When quality inspections finish, the final products are ready to be sold. The entire process can be handled by one company, or multiple companies can work together in the semiconductor ecosystem. A company that takes charge of the entire process from designing to manufacturing and sales is called an Integrated Device Manufacturer, or IDM. Samsung Electronics is a good example of this. A company that only has the resources to design semiconductors is called a fanless chip company. A fabrication facility, or fab in short, produces wafers. Fanless chip companies create chip designs without running a fab. Based on designs made by a fanless chip company, a semiconductor foundry produces semiconductors on consignment. Now, we understand what IDM, fanless, and foundry companies do in the manufacturing ecosystem. You must have heard of 3 nanometer or 2 nanometer. These terms are used when we discuss technological competitiveness of semiconductors. As electronic devices become smaller and more complex, chip sizes are required to be reduced on a nanometer scale. How is this possible? It was possible by reducing the width of circuit lines to increase the number of chips per wafer. A nanometer is used to measure the line width of circuit lines. One nanometer is one billionth of a meter and about one one hundredth the width of a strand of hair. Producing a semiconductor is like drawing a map of Central Park on a strand of hair. That's why an ultrafine process for drawing microscopic circuits onto semiconductor wafers is important for competitiveness, and it leads to nanocompetition or ultrafine competition. EUV technology helps the task of drawing finer circuits onto a wafer. Extreme ultraviolet, or EUV, is used in a photolithography process to draw circuits onto wafers. Thanks to its shortest wavelength among all the light sources used in the process, EUV is perfect for creating ultra-fine circuit patterns. We can say that it's equal to switching a blunt pencil to a mechanical pencil to draw. Can EUV technology be the magic key to everything? No. Increasing yield is as important as reducing the chip size. Yield means the percentage of non-defective products on a semiconductor. And it is a percentage of the total number of chips that operate to the maximum chip count on one wafer. Let's say we're buying a laptop. We first check what kind of CPU the computer has and how big its SSD is. All kinds of semiconductors are involved here. A CPU is the brain of a computer, and SSD is a type of storage device used in computers. In other words, memory semiconductors like SSDs are used for storing data. System semiconductors like CPUs give commands based on stored data. Today, we looked at some basic terms that you must know to understand news about semiconductors. Stay tuned for part two of the series, and if you like today's video, don't forget to like and subscribe.